Welcome to another SolarWorks video by NCCS, your SolarWorks provider. In today's video, we'll take a look at one of the advanced mates option available to us in assembly, and that is the path mate. So path mates allow us to specify a path that a component travels along by constraining one of its vertex or point. So let's take a look at the model that we have here. So this is my guide along with a path. And this is my component that will be going through uh, this path. Notice also in my component, I've also specified a sketch point so that I could connect this sketch point and make it constrained so that it travels along this path. Let's take a look at how we can do that. Simply go to mates and expand advanced mates. Enable path mates. Now here, select one of the vertex uh, in the component that you would like to move along the path. So for me, I'll just select this. And the path I'll be selecting here. Because this path is made up of several segments, which is fine, we just have to use our selection manager. So, selecting open loop, select that, okay. Further down, we've got some uh, constraints that we can apply to this mate. So we've got path constraints. So at the moment, it's free, meaning that this component can move anywhere along the path, or you could also specify a distance along path. Okay, and it will slowly move across to a particular location that you would like. Uh, percentage works the same. Let's keep this free for now. And let's see what happens. So as you can see, uh, because we haven't got any other coincident relation um, or parallel relations, this component is allowed to rotate freely. And that is not ideal. So we'll go back and change our path, mate. So we can adjust the pitch, your control. So that is uh, controlling the rotation in the plane that is perpendicular to the path. So we can select it to follow path. And we can specify which axis will follow the path. So for us, for this component, it will be the x-axis that is following the path. Let's see what happens uh, if we specify it to be z that is following the path. Okay, so this z, the blue axis, is going to follow the path. And let's have a look at what's going to happen. So that's the flexibility that you have with path mates. Um, Let's go back and put that uh, onto x-axis, which is the correct orientation. Let's play around with the row control. So row allows us uh, to control how the model is going to twist around the path. So we'll select an up vector. Okay, so we'll select one of the linear edge. And we're going to align one of these axes from our component to this uh, vertical uh, edge. So for us, it's correct to align the y-axis as the vertical axis. And let's have a look at the overall outcome. As you move the component along, it will rotate, it will reorientate itself along to the path. And that is the pitch and your control that we've specified. You can see that I cannot rotate my guide about the path. And that is because we've applied a road control to it. Thank you for watching another SolarWorks video by NCCS, your SolarWorks provider. 